What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you've been living right. As you can tell, snow is just about gone. No fishable ice here. And that means one thing, open water's coming. So today's video, I'm doing a one year review of my boat. Fished it all year, all up into the winter. And now I am gonna go over the boat again because my first boat review was a bit rough so this one hopefully goes a lot better and i can give you the likes and dislikes after a year of you owning the boat so first need to go to the dealer get my boat awesome group of guys there that are supporting the channel so go there give y'all walk around the shop and show you what they have they got everything you need to get on the water and i will leave a link in the description for you to go check them out I'll shut up, let's get going. I'll see you at the dealer. in the shop walking around you can see we got kickers right there we have a couple tracker deep bees awesome little aluminum boats one there one there and then there's a tahoe little cruiser boat there they got four wheelers on trailers they got all kinds of little accessories things that you may want you know here's some pretty nice pontoon boats and right here you got a z18 nitro bass boat awesome Right here, you got the mini me, the 175. I have the 195, which is bigger. I think this is like 17 foot. It's an awesome boat. Uh, it comes with the 115. You can get it in Pro XS too. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, total length, 17 and a half foot. I guess the 175 kind of spelled that out. But, and you got more. You got 16 footer, 17 footer. Uh, I think that's a 19, maybe 20 foot over there. Uh, the ones we saw earlier are more the 21 foot all aluminum boats right now um, nitro boats are not in yet people are buying them before they can even get them on the floor which is unreal i i that means a lot of people are out fishing and that's pretty cool uh yeah and then lucky here we got four wheelers a little 90s well here let me turn the camera around all right, there, let's spin the camera around. We got a little 94 wheeler, and here's a little 450, 570, 700 right there. Yeah, you know, little tracker four wheelers, pretty awesome because they actually they come with this two inch receiver, which is pretty damn cool. I mean, older four wheelers didn't have it, pretty neat. Um, kayaks, if you like floating down rivers, those are freaking awesome. Right now, you see this wall, uh, this wall was not there. The other week they are remodeling um, they're gonna take everything that's behind this wall that's on that wall and bring it back up here and they're gonna make that a parts room so they can hold more parts for everybody so but they got everything they got all their life jackets preservers and stuff there uh, they got throw pillows there you know got some hats speakers for your boat if you don't have a radio Bluetooth connect your phone to them anchors more life jackets some sweaters batteries Bumpers, anchor ropes, throw ropes. They, they got everything you need right there. And here's some more pontoon boats. And underneath the pontoon boats, as you can tell, solid Minn Kota trolling motors and propped up against it, the Mega 360 imaging. Look at that, they got two of them, which have been hard to find here lately. More trolling motors. Lowrance, if you want Lowrance. Hummingbird, if you want Hummingbird. And now, Garmin. They did not have this when I was coming through here, but now they have Garmin products. All right, well, that's the quick run around, run through of their shop. Right now they're remodeling, so it's not looking the best. I have a lot of things in boxes, but anything you need for your boat or to get on the water, safety, accessories, electronics, from trolling motors to kicker motors, and as you can tell, you got four wheelers and everything right here, kayaks, they got everything you need. So 
I'll leave a link in the description. Check them out. Tell them Todd from Filet and Release sent you their way. And they will hook you up. You can literally buy a boat from here. They will ship it to you. And if you buy a boat online, definitely tell them I sent you their way. So I'll quit yapping. We're going to go ahead and head to the house. And when I get there, I'll go over, do another quick review of my boat and the likes and dislikes of running my boat from the past year. See you back at the house. All right. Well, here we are. Here's the boat back at the house. So we're going to go back over it. I'm going to get the camera turned around and I'll do a quick little review and we'll talk about things I like and dislike about the boat now after owning it for one year. So here we go. All right. Well, here we are um, right here. 80 pound Minn Kota Altrex trolling motor reset foot pedal, which has been pretty nice. I really do like that. Um, I just don't run with my pedestal in. I just stand um, right here. I got a Helix 8 that sits in there. The trolling motor head unit right here has transducers built into it for my mega side and down imaging, which has been phenomenal. And right here, rod storage. You can put, I think, like 12 rods in here, they say. But I think I, I'm only keeping like eight, six or eight in there. Not bad. This year, I'm only going to put rods on this side. There are two rod compartments in this boat. One there and one here on the other side. We'll get this opened right here. I am going to use this as a storage for other things this year. But here we go. We got storage here. I got life jackets, throw, life jacket, net, anchor, um, some other things in here, I think. But I keep my flotation devices and net and anchor in that box. And then we got this box right here, which has been a pretty good box to me. I throw a little bit of everything in here. Um, some loose tackle, little scoop net, spreaders, life jet, er, and my raincoat and stuff I keep in here. I'm going to organize my boat a little bit better this year instead of just throwing it all in. But as you can tell, this casting deck is huge. And that's why I bought this boat. Because it has an unbelievable deck to cast on. I mean, you can put two people up here with ease to fish. Um, center console, or not center console, but side console. As you can tell, you know, typical tracker. Got some gauges, got a steering wheel. I mean, everything you want from a console boat. But this is this is what's nice. I mean, I'm not really rubbing. I mean, Taught right there, but normally you bust the key out. And they put it up higher, which is awesome. But you got room to get underneath, and then you put your legs under. You got all kinds of room. Very comfortable to sit in. Um, another Helix Eight sits here with side imaging that goes out the back of the boat use it all trash can right there and as you can tell you know one two three four five six seven right here oh, there it is eight and up there in that little recess area is nine nine cup holders so don't know why you need nine cup holders on a boat that can handle four people unless you're drinking heavy but yeah these seats come with it um the 2021 models though have this gray instead of a darker gray it's black with red stripping right that goes here and here phenomenal looking seats i wish i actually had them on this boat but everything's the same you got compartments here um, i got my battery charger there and as you can tell i got a musky bait sitting there getting ready for this year um, live wells 
right here pretty big Ugh, nasty looking i should clean that out better but ran it all the way to the end of the year extra little st tackle storage compartments it's pretty awesome you can fill these up with the 3700 plano boxes and that's what i have the waterproof versions they fit in there quite nice um got one there and one over there and as you can tell camera tripod attached to my pedestal all right well i hope you enjoyed that quick little review of the inside of the boat um uh, to the pros and cons of this this boat extremely light i think it's only like 1200 pounds and i pull it with a 1500 silverado you can pull it with the canyons colorados rangers probably even the new broncos that came out i'm not going to tell you to pull it with a car because i don't believe cars should be pulling boats but people do pull boats with cars get out fish make a day of it have a great time secondly the 195 models like i have you can get four different types of motors i chose the mercury 150 pro xs the simple fact was when i did do some research on this boat i did find out this boat runs 60 miles an hour which is kind of scary fast in this light boat because you can literally feel the air catching the front end but you put enough tackle in the front of the boat you won't have that problem and you can still hit that 60 mile an hour and be weighted down a little bit the casting room on this thing is unreal I have no complaints. I can fish two people up front, person in the back, and a person in the middle here. Put four people on the boat, casting rod and reels, and have a great day and not get into anybody's way. And the fact that a lot of the aluminum boats had a very small console to where you, when you try to get your knees under, you really had to work yourself under it or you keep your knees out and then steer like this you know which was kind of uncomfortable center console is more veed it's got more room where you can get your legs in i mean i'm almost six foot tall and i can fit my legs underneath it and run and stay out of the wind during the colder times of the year so that was one of the big reasons why i bought the boat because i could actually slide underneath it now, the only con I have with this boat, this was something I couldn't, I didn't learn anywhere, but it's not really, a, if I would have learned it, wouldn't have been a deal breaker for me anyhow, because I learned how to counter this from buying the boat and still wanting the fish and stuff. So, all the compartments on this boat are not going to keep anything dry whatsoever so if you're carrying sweaters jackets bibs raincoats whatever and you just put them in the compartments and it's going going to rain they are going to get wet and you don't want that because if the things you want to stay dry get wet you get cold and no one enjoys being cold and wet so to counter that i purchased a couple of dry bags to keep all my stuff that I want dry dry and I'll leave a link in the description for that stuff or for those dry bags if you have this boat and you were wondering check these out pick up some because they they do pretty well and on a continuation of that just not keeping your clothes you know with your clothes and stuff getting wet the carpet that's in there gets wet so what do, you, what do you do to dry it out well when i get home and i park my boat in the garage i open up all the compartments to let it air out and by the end of the week everything's dry i close everything up hook the boat up and I go fishing again do it all over again so that was something i i learned as i bought the boat and i didn't know and no one really described that in reviews hell i didn't even describe that in the reviews when i did my first review because i still hadn't been out in the rain and had everything get soaking wet in there at that time even if i had known about that it wouldn't have been a make or break on the boat to buy it this boat retails for thirty thousand dollars 
So you are going to compromise some things versus purchasing a boat that costs forty to fifty thousand dollars more for the same size in a fiberglass aspect. Or there are aluminum boats out there that have dry storage. I've I've seen them. Handful of reviews. Uh, Lud makes one. They're high. They're hybrid, but. I wanted to stay with the bass boat type style at the time. I wish I went with more of a deeper V for fishing big water, but this boat, I could still go out and fish big water. I just got to pay attention to the weather. So that concludes the one year review and pros and cons of my boat. Remember, check out St. Croix Marine and Power. They will hook you up. Like I said before, you can buy a boat from them from um, from over the phone or online. You know, they, these guys are pretty solid people. They will take care of you. And they are supporting the channel. So that's so I will show my support back to them. But I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna get my boat back in the garage or get my boat into the garage, uh, open it up because it did rain and I gotta dry out my boxes now. But y'all take care and remember. Until next time, keep living right.